Hello Rastonville, I'm Harmony, and today I'm going to be reading Skippy John Jones Snow White by Judy Schachter. Skippy John Jones loved to play in the snow with his sisters, Jeans Bell, Juju Bee, and Jilly Bow. And this melted his mama's heart faster than a bowlful of butter on a hot beach. Come on in, mitten kittens, called out Mama Junebug Jones. Time for some hot catnip cocoa. With mouse mellows, begged the girls, and ice cubes, asked Skippy. Don't need ice cubes, Mr. Pillow, said, asked, said Mama, but we need to pick out a book. Snow White, gushed the girls. It's our favorite fuzzy tail. Fuzzy tail, smudgy tail, declared the kitty boy. I don't like that story, he said, making a disagreeable face. His room... Then he stomped off to his room, carrying a tray of ice cream. Listen here, Grumpy Gums, said Mama, following close behind. Your sisters have listened to your favorite books without even once giving me one of those looks. So come have your cocoa and do what is right. And who knows, Snugglebug, you might love the tale of Snow White. Nuh-uh, said Skippy. I don't think so. Suit yourself, Tater Tot, said Mama Junebug, but you don't know what you're missing. Oh, Skippy knew what he was missing, all right, and that was bouncing on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I know what I'm missing. A fuzzy white cat, a prince, and some kissing. Yuck, said Skippy, wiping his mouth with the back of his paw. Then he popped over to his mirror, using his very best Spanish accent, he said. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the handsomest chinchilla of all? Why, it's you, Senor Skip, replied the chinchilla in Espejo. And the bravest, declared the kitty boy, as he prepared for a long journey into his closet. Then, as always, he began to sing in a muy muy soft voice. Oh, my name is Skipito Crisco, and I am an old fuzzy telito. It's got plenty of fights, but no one wears tights. And that's the best part of Mis Amigos. On the couch, June Bug had begun reading to the girls. Once upon a pillow sat a beautiful cat princess. Her fur was as white as snow, her eyes were black as coal, and her whiskers were full as. My tummy, added Jujubee, burping. That was a good story, said the sisters, running off to play. But this wasn't the end of the story for Skippy John Jones. It was just the beginning as he stepped into his closet. And into a deep, dark forest. He hadn't even gone four paws before his tail puffed out. Don't be such a such a scaredy cat, chittered a fox from behind a tree. I'm not a scaredy cat, hissed the gatito. I'm Skippito Fresco the great sword fighter. Of course you are, sniggered the fox, and I'm a chinchilla. Skipito gave him a look that would freeze a fago. Then he took off toward a light in the distance. Over the river and through the woods, seven small amigos opened the door to their cozy little cottage and sniffed. Something is not right, dude, said the first. Sundark has been chewing my zapato, said the second, and licking my lychee, said the third, and sitting in my silla, said the fourth, and talking my pelota, said the fifth, and gnawing on my huso, added the sixth, and sleeping in my cama, declared the seventh. Not in your bed, exclaimed all the doggies. That stinks, dude. Stinky or not, there is indeed someone sleeping in the bed. But it wasn't a dog, it was Skipito, hooted the Puchitos, pilling on top of their amigo. Las Chimichango, exclaimed the gatito. What are you doing here? We have come to free the naive kid, exclaimed Puchito Tito, the smallest of the ones. Snow who, added gatito. Not snow who, dude, replied Tamaletio. Snow what? Pack of the naive kid whipped the puppies into a frenzy of fall chanting, Snow what? Snow what? No, Ito has been cursed by a wicked witchito. She sleeps in a coop and 
how she's kissed by a dude. So puff her up, pooch, and smoochito. I'm not kissing snowbody, declared Scaputo. Not tonight, said all the puppies. But manano, muchacho. After a tail wagging and whisker washing, every pup fell fast asleep. Of snow what? Every pup, except Scapito. Her fur as white as snow, snore, snore. Her eyes are black as coal, snore some more. Her eyes as pink as a pinony, and she is such a beautiful lady, roar. At the first bark of dawn, the Ucho Puchos were up and out of search for the frozen princesa. But why is she frozen, asked Gipito. Because she is hot, whooped on Diego. See, si, as a poquito tito, but the wicked Bruja is not. Hot or not, the tiny troop would not trudge through thicket and thorn for Naifke, and nothing was going to stop them. Not even a sleeping dragon, but it stopped Skipito. He fainted. He's out cold, dudes, whispered Tio Leo. Bueno, barked Bertito. Then all the puppies prepared their amigo for their grande rescue. First they dressed him, and then they blessed him. Sachik has sachis pad, sausages and pizza, rumble tummy in the dragon scent. One little dog with the strength of ten, sachik has sachik has, sausages and pizza. One more time. As Capito woke up, he not only smelled a sausage, he looked like one too. That's right, they're tights, scolded Paquito Tito. And any prince who has ever rescued a princessa has to wear them. But who's doing that? Asked Gepito, scratching his head. Dudes, how about the doggies in disbelief? You are. Suddenly, a potent puff of panic poofed out of Gepito's tail and poofed out of his pantalones. Stand back, warm Bertito. Then quicker than you can say, snails, scales, and humpback whales, Gepito rocketed over the waking dragon. Hard, roared the dragon with a shot of flame. The Puchitos loaded their slingshots with sachikas and aimed straight for the dragon's fiery bucka. While we distract, it's time to act, shouted his amigos from down below. Do your part and melt her heart, barked Tam Tamalefio, covering his corazon with his paws. When we put it to the test, your bezos are best, whooped Don Diego as he took aim. Quicker than you can say, Beto Conquesto, Scapito landed right next to the Capito di Helio and the frozen princesa. She was beautiful, all right, but the Puchito was in no mood for Smuchito. So at the top of his itty bitty lungs, he shouted, Snow what? Wake up! Naeth K her nada, nothing, but it scared the living fire right out of El Dragon. He flew away. Now nada stood in the way of saving the princesa, except ice and a pair of fuzzy lips. Dude, just kiss the cute, back Pequito Tito again. And so he did. Back in their room, Jujube, Jeezbell, and Jilly Boo were playing their own version of Snow White when they saw their brother walk by with an ice cube stuck to his nose. He's been licking ice cubes again, said Jujube, shaking her head. Yup, said Jilly Boo. He likes ice. Uh-huh, added Jeez Bell. Ice is nice. Mama June Buck Jones was doing a crossword puzzle at the table when her kitty boy crawled into her lap and bared his face into her soft, warm neck. Whoa, said Mama. Some little squeegee has a cold, wet nose. Snow what? Asked Skippy. What? Said Mama. I love you. Snow what, Thumpkin? Asked Mama. What? Said Skippy. You just muffled your mama's nose. At bedtime, the Joan girls overheard their big brother bouncing on his big boy bed saying, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, the bravest of the night. But when I save a princess, I will not wear tights. What princess? asked Juju B, running into his room. Snow what? replied the kitty boy, bouncing higher. Snow who? inquired Jelly Bell. He meant Snow White, reasoned Juice Bell. Snow I didn't, declared Skippy. I said, Good night, called Mama from down the hall. Skippy said, Good night. I hope you enjoyed the book. 
I'm sorry if you didn't understand me that well. I'm not very fluent in Spanish. Bye.